I completed Mom's Heart with Isaac. So I think I'm going to try a new character this time. I said Eden to hear a character, so I'm going to go ahead and give Eden a play here. So Eden's a little interesting. Eden starts with random stats. Right now we're starting with slightly below da average damage, slightly below average speed, but we have slightly better tiers than normal. And Eden always starts with a random spacebar item and a random passive item. Our random spacebar item is a little chest which will spawn consumables every now and again. And our random spacebar item is Doctor's remote, which we can kind of use to give a piloted missile, as you can see right there, every two rooms. So that will, in addition to doing some good damage when we're using it, it will also give us a lot of utility on some runs. We can basically use it in place of bombs, which until we get a good bomb economy going, um, can be very helpful. This room's a little bit of a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. That's okay, we did it, we didn't get hit. Our HP starts a little low, only two spirit hearts, so that's a little worrisome. But uh, that could be fine. Here we get Anemic, which gives us a range upgrade, which I actually never realized. Um, and also, if we get hit, we will leave behind a little blood trail. We're going to open up this golden chest. Wow, that's great. So, Goathead, what that does is it gives 100% chance of being a deal with the devil on every floor. Which is very handy. So we don't have to worry about not taking red heart damage. We're going to get it all the time. It's just all around a great item. I really wish I had Doctor's Remote right here. It would make this room very simple. But we do not. Um, but you know what? Just to make this room easy, I'm going to go by and blow up this right here. I'm going to blow it up anyway. And I'm just going to make things easier to clear this room. This room's always a pain in the ass, especially with champions. Because this, this darker one on the bottom there is, uh, he is going to blow up when he dies. We don't really want to be standing anywhere near him when that happens. We're kind of looking to curve our shots at a distance to go in and hit him. Um, we can't shoot naturally at an angle, so we kind of just have to use momentum of our shots to get to him. There you go. All right. This guy shouldn't be a problem now. So our secret room should be here. It is. and a bomb, which is nice. I'm gonna get a spiller spirit heart here right off the bat. Before I kill this last spider, I'm gonna get myself another charge. Um, it didn't really matter too much, but uh, it's okay. Move on here. Ooh, we're gonna blow this up. Just because. I probably should have saved it for the boss fight, um, but that's okay didn't really want to deal with that room. It probably won't, it won't make a huge difference. Save us a little bit of time. I don't know if you heard right there, but my laundry just went off. Pick Pulse Worm, because I like the way it looks. This is probably our second secret room. Um, hmm. Can't afford to play this, so I'm going to blow it up. Give us a red heart. Don't really care about that. He's not going to pay out, but I also don't really want to use my last bomb to blow him up. Maybe I'll come back and use Doctor's Remote to kill him. That's actually probably what I should've done in the first place, is to save it for the Doctor's Remote Charge to blow both those things up. But I didn't really think about that. So, uh, uh you live and you learn. Okay, so, oof, got hit twice, which is terrible against Larry Jr. Um, but as you can see, we activated Anemia for the Anemic upgrade. So we leave a little bit of creep behind that enemies can walk into and get damaged by, like that. Got an HP upgrade, which is fine. We're gonna go back here and blow up our beggar. Drops lots of money, ended up being well worth it. And we're gonna move on to the next floor. Um, double deals cannot happen on the first floor unless you get magically teleported to them somehow. Um, which we unfortunately did not get lucky enough to happen. So that's why our goat head didn't give us a first floor devil deal. But from now on, we should get them every single floor. There's more floors later on in the game that uh, it also will not work for. But 
Uh, you haven't unlocked those yet, so I'm not going to worry about it too much at the moment. We go into our shop here. We're going to take Charged Baby. What this does is it will sometimes give us some charge on a space bar item, and sometimes it will spawn a battery for us. Um, it's kind of random when it happens. I don't really know what it's based off of at all. All the steel pill is fantastic. Um, but it can, but uh, I pretty much always take it, because you never know when you could be good. I got a luck upgrade there from donating to the machine, so that's handy. I always want to pump money into it for the moment. Uh, we're probably going to look for our secret room right there when we get our next Doctor's Remote Charge. I don't really want to use bombs at the moment until I'm out of Remote Charges with the floor. I didn't even see it. The purple blended in somehow to my eyes. I didn't even see it. I know I said with the next Doctor's Remote Charge that I would go look for that secret room, but I think instead I'm going to blow up this tinted rock, which gave us another spirit heart, which we can always use. Ooh, use a bomb. Another spirit heart. I'm going to keep exploring, I think, before I do my boss fight, just because I want the Doctor's Remote Charge for fighting him. I didn't have it last time, and I took damage on the boss fight, so I should probably learn my lesson and not do that again. And blow him up. The, uh, the champion, that particular champion enemy, explodes when he dies. Finish this room off, and we've got an arcade to our south, which could give us some really good value. Um, we don't have any money, so we can't get in, though. We go into our item room here. Ah, oh, that's fantastic! 2020 double shot. So we don't. So basically, at first glance, it seems like a worse version of the quad shot we had last run. But this one, it just you shoot two tiers every time that you would shoot one, but you don't shoot tiers any less often. So essentially, it's just double damage, which uh, we, we like a lot. We're gonna look for a secret room here. We found. What's giving us? Double shot makes Doctor's Remote hit twice. That's good to know. I didn't know that either. Here's a sacrifice. I promise at some point we will play the sacrifice room. But not this round. Probably. Alright. going to get Blood Bank a little bit. Get money out of it. Um, I could play it more, but I don't. Let's play everything. Maybe we'll get some, some good plays. We got 2.69 luck. Let's try and make it work for us. A bomb. Not the most amazing thing, but we don't have any, so we'll take it. Got some more hearts, so we can play this a little more. One more play. Will we get a key? We will get two keys. So, not really sure if it was worth it. I feel like it wasn't worth it enough to be worth my time. So after all that, and wanting to wait to fight the boss until I had a Doctor's Remote Charge, we do not have a Doctor's Remote Charge. But we have 2020, so I'm not too concerned. Um, things we want, we want a straight up damage upgrade. That would be fantastic, because right now, our damage stat isn't very good. Our practical damage is pretty pretty good at the moment, especially for where we're at in the run. Um, we would love to see a, a, even more damage upgrade. Some speed would be nice. A little slow right now. Tears is great. We'll take it. And we're going to get Brimstone. Um, I mean, got two, right? Double shot Brimstone. We shoot two Brim lasers. This, uh, we didn't get an actual damage upgrade, but uh, Brimstone will do the job. So these first few runs I've been going through are ridiculously strong. It's a lot more. We don't. We don't want luck round. I'm gonna take this pill because if we get the PhD, it'll turn into a luck upgrade. But uh, for now, we just want to avoid using it. And we probably won't get any use out of it. I'm gonna take it just to have it. We're definitely gonna do this room because I mean, you might as well. I promise, at one point, we're bound to get a weak run, but uh, I'm liking the power right now. It makes me feel strong. Let's 
What's, what's in the van? Oh my god. How did that even- We don't have sad bombs. Why is it doing that? This is amazing. Okay. Telepills. Took us to our secret room. We have Bible Tract, which is a faith up. I believe that increases our chance of getting eternal hearts. I think that's how that works. We're going to go into our shop here. It's got Spider Mod, which we will try and take. I don't really want to use our... Well, we can use our last bomb to blow them up. So our regular bombs don't make brimstone lasers. I'm not sure why Doctor's Remote does. Maybe that was a one-off... Maybe that was Pulse Worm? I don't know. I have no idea. I've not seen that before. I'm gonna see... Okay, we got 15 cents. We're gonna go back. We're gonna pick up Spider Mod. This does two things. Spider Mod will show us the HP of enemies that we're playing against. It gives them life bars. It shows us how much damage we do. And if he touches any enemies, then he will do some damage to them. Let's see what this does. Use it over here. That's amazing! That's so good! I don't... I don't know what does that. Mysterious candy. I think whenever you pick up a penny, you fart. I'm pretty sure. If anyone in the comments knows why Dr. Dremote is incredible in making brimstone later, please let me know, because I've got no clue. Um, I thought just sad bombs would make that happen, but apparently I'm wrong. Oh, man, I don't want to take this. Alright, I'm going to use this just for a little bit. I'm going to go back and take Dr. Dremote because it's too much fun. We're gonna use this. So what it does, it rerolls enemies. Everything in here, you see what they're gonna These kind of enemies. I use the D10. Now they're new enemies. Um, the only practical purpose I've found for this item is sometimes... Oh, it makes poop when you pick up it. Um, the only practical purpose I've found for this item is that it makes... It can make room for the hard enemies easier. I think that's it though. Why did he spawn so many spiders? That was too many spiders. We're gonna just use it on every room because we might as well. I'm not gonna have this item long. I'm just gonna use the crap out of it while I do. I obviously don't know what Mysterious Candy does because it does not make poop whenever you take okay. Infested. Infested. Friends till the end. Keep luck down with us, like we said. What does this do? Fool? Well, we... A teleport card could potentially be more useful than a luck down pill. I mean, there's a chance we can get a luck upgrade out of that pill, but it's not very likely. I forgot. I'll use this now. 10. Change it to an even harder enemy, but that's fine. We're very strong. It didn't do anything here. Does it? Oh, I didn't know that. Apparently those qualify as enemies. That's an interesting use. So that, that's the first time I've seen that use for the D10. It's good. We got an eternal heart, despising, despite not having the Bible track to shrink it. Um, but you know, it's always a chance game. Come here. We're going to pick up. Ooh, that's not what we wanted. What do we, what do we want? We're going to donate money. We want the Bible tracts, and we want... Where's our item? Back in the item room, that's right. We don't want to leave behind Doctor's Remote, because right now it's kind of incredible. Still really want to know what's happening. I'm going to have to look up Doctor's Remote in the Isaac Wiki and see if it's got just a weird brimstone synergy I never knew about. We'll still have a Bible tract. We're just going Gertie and just make short work. God, that's amazing. It's so good. I love it. Alright, so our devil deal. We're gonna get the speed and range. Word rage, speed and range. Range does nothing for us, because Brimstone gives us essentially infinite range. Our devil fight is Krampus, which is actually totally fine right now. Um, we don't really want a normal devil deal, because we don't have the HP to trade away. We blew up Krampus. Got some money. He gave us coal. Lump of coal. So it turns our uh, Brimstone later dark. It turns black. And what this also does for them is the further away an enemy is, basically the further a shot travels, the more damage it does. So we want to 
to now stay at the other end of the room and shoot enemies down because it'll do more damage. I guess just sometimes mysterious candy will spawn poop when you enter or exit a room, maybe? I'm not sure exactly how it works. It's not very good. Anyway. Caves 2. Why am I even bothering? God, that's amazing. I love it every time I do it. So two of diamonds. If we have no... It'll, it'll double our money. If we have no money, it'll us two cents. We're going to wait because we're probably going to pick up more money on this floor. Before we do that... What's alive? Someone's alive. Before we do that, I'm going to go back, pick up our fool card. We're going to go into our curse room. I don't really want to play him right now. That's fine. We're going to teleport out. I thought maybe he would pay out with something, but he did not. If we get more access to more red hearts, maybe we'll want to play them. Or if we get some sort of some sort of invincibility, it'd be a good play as well. I'm just gonna brimstone everything to death. I was gonna use Doctor's remote when he died, so I guess I won't. So ideally, we'll use the two of diamonds right before we want to spend money on something. Use two of diamonds to get a uh, double whatever we have at the current moment. We could use it right now to get 12 money, but uh, I think we're gonna save the point off. We got our secret room here. Don't really care about blowing him up, but we might get some money. And essentially, any money we get right now is worth double the amount of money, so I'm gonna try for it. You do still have to be careful about dodging. Battery Baby's been nice for giving us recharges. It's on a two room item. Uh, two room charge item's not that great, but at the same time, this item's amazing right now, so I can't complain too much. Friends to the end, just give us some flies. Here, font card will give us two spirit hearts. No reason not to use it right now. Go into our boss trap room. We're gonna do it just because it's gonna be pretty easy. He died. Chump. He did a chump. Kill this guy too. He'll take Lucky Rock. So Lucky Rock, whenever I, th I think, whenever we oh, that's terrible. When I think, whenever we blow up a rock, it'll give us money. I'm pretty sure. Mitsumisus. If we would have known about that, what that does is it drops us down to. One full red heart, and then it empties a bunch of red heart containers, and it spawns a bunch of red hearts. That would have been very useful on the if we would have known about it on the um, demon beggar that we saw earlier. But unfortunately, ooh, we got another one, so we can go in there and use it. And since it's adjacent to our secret room, we can just blow up the wall and not take damage getting in there or getting out. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna play him a little bit. We're gonna use Hematomesis. We'll spawn some more hearts for us in here. Some justice cards to spawn another heart. And it gave us a little horn. Science! So I don't know that this actually does anything with Brimstone. What it would normally do is it would give us a chance of our shot shooting out a uh, particularly strong piercing shot um, instead of a regular tier. But I don't think it does anything with this. Let's spawn a judgment. Another demon judgment. We'll play him again. It's going to be a bit slow and laborious. We're going to go back and pick up our red hearts. If I was smarter, I would have gone to this room and dropped him. But frankly, I wasn't thinking about it. So we're just going to take a little bit more time here to do this. Around. I don't have a ton to worry about on this run. Um, I would like flight, but uh, it's not necessarily... We don't, we don't need it, I would say. It'd be nice to be able to fly. 
Um, I'd like some more damage, but it seems silly to ask for. Uh, I know our damage seems absurd right now, but once we get a little later in the run, uh, we get some, some tougher enemies. They won't die quite as fast, but realistically, Doctor's Remote should kill everything pretty quick. So Acid Baby, this he will sometimes spawn pills for us. Um, not great, but not bad. Um, it kind of depends on what pills are in that particular run. Remember, they change up. I don't really remember much of what's on this run for pills. I know we got a luck down pill. I know we've got a hematomesis, which can be useful, but isn't normally very much. We're gonna blow this up. Got money, we got heart, we got key, got a little monstro. So what he does, he has a little charge thing where he shoots out some little, little burst of tears going on. We got an I can see forever pill, so that'll find our secret rooms for us. So we like that. Already getting some use out of Acid Baby. I believe he's the one that dropped that pill. Yeah, my heel will be doing boss rush. I just want to I'm taking time slowly to kind of explain stuff. But uh we can't do it this run, can we? No. Oh, I'm just kinda of taking right now time to explain stuff. I'll definitely be looking to do boss rush stuff in the future. This would have been a pretty good run for it, actually. Okay, so we're, we're pretty strong. I'm going to play a self-sacrifice room, so. Because I can afford to. As you can see, every time I step on the spikes, it takes a spirit heart away. It's right there, the You Feel Blessed. As you can see, we now have a 98.2% on the, uh, the bottom there. What that does is it's a very much increased chance of us getting what's called an angel deal. You Feel Blessed again. That's about... As far down as we get a 100% chance. So we'll definitely get an Angel deal, which will be the first one we've gotten since I've started playing Isaac here on this channel. Um, basically, that replaces the deal with the Angel with something completely different. Paralysis pill, not, not good, but we know now. It's a good thing, knowing it's half the battle. Uh, we've explored everything, so I'm going to go ahead and go to our boss fight. So what would you guys prefer to see? Would you prefer to see me move a little faster and try and do things like boss rush? Or would, uh, would you like to see me kind of, oh, bad trip's not very good. Okay, so right here we get Spear of Destiny. So this is a little item that it does damage to things in front of us. It's like a little sword. Would you guys prefer for me to go a little slower in runs or kind of pick up the pace and try and make the faster time barred stuff? I don't think I've only down. I've got very few hearts. I don't really want to go back and play the self-sacrifice room more. We dropped down in health a lot. It could have given us more stuff if we went to play it, but the chances of it being very useful wasn't very high. <laughs> we got a uh, hand's gonna come down and try and snatch us up. So let's keep moving. We should be fine. Good start. So good. Our next run's got to be shitty, right? It's, it's got to happen at some point. God, I love that. Every time I see it, it's so nice. Super greed. He's the chump. Take him out. Really don't want a bad trip pill. We're gonna. Oh, I should not have used. I just decided I was gonna use that as soon as I walked into the room. Doesn't matter though. We uh, pattery baby made it so it really doesn't. I don't even know where my shot went there, but it still did damage. Kind of lost track of it. We're going to go ahead and use two of diamonds because it'll take us 99 cents. We got enough money, I think, to unlock Kane, which is a new character. He actually used to be my favorite character in the original version of the game. He's still really good, and I still really enjoy him. Just uh, there's other characters that I find to be more fun now. Blowing up everything super fast. Definitely want the help. We're going to use Infested now because we can. We really want to, like, optimally, we want to, it's not going to make much of a difference. We want to save it for rooms with lots of poop in them. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Um, we're still going to pick up pennies because they could, they could give us luck upgrades still. 
moon card. Uh, we're just going to spam these infested pills. We have infested. more useful ones here. Range, Range down does down. not matter. So duct tape, what that does is, as you can see, it keeps all of our familiars kind of in one spot. Um, I'm going to keep it now just because it's something to have and we don't really need Lucky Rock anymore. So we got two teleport cards now. And no boss rush in sight. Of course. Here's Petrified Poop. What that does is you get a higher chance of things dropping from poop. Most of those things are money. And we don't need money. And plus, duct tape is more amusing at the moment, so I'm going to stick with that. We're going to blow these up in hopes of getting a Spirit Heart. If I would have been better at my placement, I could have gotten both with one bomb, but I didn't. It's a shame that narrowly missed those. That's fine though. Ooh! Oh, I can't believe I took damage there. It's unfortunate. Get wrecked. Moving on, watch out for the hands. There's any small rooms that can really trip you up. So, God, I got hit twice. Should not be this bad. Should not be doing this bad. Really shouldn't take this damage. I think we're going to be okay, though. I just got to play more carefully. These depths are so dang. Monster 2. He's a little tougher. He also has lasers, but I'm not too worried about that. Take him out. We're going to get tiers upgrade, which means our charge is faster. Another tiers upgrade in form of a pill, which is great. Three red chests, which give us more tiers upgrade. Tears. We are at the tiers cap, I believe, because we're not getting any more upgrades out of that. Two spirit hearts is fantastic. The third one is even better. So we're, we're all of a sudden feeling much better, and we have not been punished for our terrible damage we've taken. Which I'm not going to feel too bad for. It's fine. Sometimes Isaac giveth, sometimes it takes away. Knock down. We don't want that still. Good thing we didn't carry the other one with us for a while. Boom, boom. Hey, here's the uh, lost contact Mikey was talking about in the last run. So this one is a shielded tears. I'm it's either amazing or terrible for us. I'm not sure which. All the steel is great. Um, we're gonna trade out our telepills for oh that doesn't never mind. I'm not very smart. Um, so pay to win. What that does is it gives a reroll pedestal on all of our item rooms that come up. We're gonna take champion belt. Uh, the challenge up means that champions are more likely to spawn, but the damage upgrade is just something we want. So we unlock a new item. We're going to pump as much money as we possibly can into this. Um, so what contact does is it shielded tiers. Whenever you're shooting, it will kind of consume that tier to block a shot. It's in the way of something. Um, it'll do one of two things with brimstone. It'll either do nothing, or what I think it does is it will block any shot that's in the brimstone beam, and it won't take away brimstone. So I think it's just purely great right now. I'm going to move on. I don't really feel like doing the rest of the floor. I don't think it can give us anything. That, I don't know why I use that. I don't think it can really give us anything that's going to be super helpful. I mean, what do we need? We could use some more bombs technically, but we're not hurting for them exactly. Some more money. We could play this guy for a while. We get a chance at paying out an item for us. Um, so we really probably should. That was terrible. At some point, we're going to have to pick it up if we want to get the 1,001% achievements and whatever. But um, that's not something I'm very concerned about right now. We're a long way off from that. So we're going to move on, I think. Let's open up all these. We're going to moon card out, go to our secret room. Got raw liver, which is, uh, we get two health containers from that. So that's handy. I guess it's a bad trip pill, so I'm not even concerned about going back to check for it. Here, we get toxic shock, which I really like. So what this item does is when you walk into a room, it'll damage every enemy in that room some. This is car battery. We will get double use out of our doctor's remote every time we use it. We're going to buy the spirit heart because we can, and we got lots of money. 
Um, so now a car battery is going to be even more crazy. As you can see, oh, it doesn't work. I guess because it's already doubled from uh, 2020, maybe it doesn't do anything. That's unfortunate. Okay, so as you can see, it will destroy any shots in our way, which is fantastic. Huge gross, we get a mince. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this floor. Um, what? Actually, you know what? Pay to win is the reason that we had a, a reroll machine in our item room. This is the last item room we're going to get in this run because we're in the depths too. We don't have any more starting on the womb. So I'm going to pick up wooden cross, which I believe is once per floor. You avoid the first bit of damage you take. Um, I mean, it shouldn't. I doubt it's going to make the difference between a win or a loss, but I'm going to take it because it's a fine thing to have. I'm going to keep moving on here. Friends to the end, might as well. Everything dies so quick. Everything gets softened up by Toxic Shock. It's actually kind of one of my favorite little nice niche, like, quality of life I have. It just makes the run quicker. Hit our Eternal Heart, which if we can survive it to the next floor, we'll get an HP upgrade. Um, I think I'm just going to do the boss fight. I'm going to go ahead and take balls of kill. Or balls of steel. Balls of kill. Gonna get, gonna get big. Um, so mom's foot doesn't do any damage to you. So as you can see, I just kind of walked into it and it didn't hurt me. I forgot mom's heart can actually drop items. It's not what I'm used to seeing. Um, so we got a speed upgrade. It's fine. We can use it. Let's see what we get in our devil deal. More red chests. We got... If we get Guppy here. Okay, we're still one item away from Guppy, which is crazy. Guppy's head's really good. It'll spawn a bunch of flies for us. Um, I think I might actually roll with it because we get used out of car battery. I really like the synergy we got going on with Doctor's Remote. But, uh... I, we got enough laser beams going on. That's really what it comes down to. And, uh... Guffy's head will give us something we don't have, which is a really good fly economy. We can spawn lots of flies, it'll do damage for us. I like having those around, and it's something different. I can see forever, so we can get secret rooms for free. We don't want hematemesis. I guess it's better to carry than a range down pill, so we'll do that, but... I doubt we're going to get any use out of it. So there's I can see forever working for us, finding our secret room for us for free. Um, so, Fragmented Card gives us double secret rooms on the floor. Um, I, I'll keep it around. I don't think it's going to do much for us, but uh, I'm going to keep it just in case. It's, it's something different. That's a trinket I don't want. Something about red hearts. There's a lot of trinkets in the game that involve red hearts, and I'm just not really sure exactly what they do. I know they either give you red hearts, or you can gain more red hearts from some things just happening, but I don't know. I don't pay enough attention. There's so many, kind of, the way that the Isaac works, once you get good enough at it, you don't try and stay away from keeping red hearts. I just don't know what a lot of them do. Bob's Curse is fine. We get more uh, five bombs, and our bombs are poison bombs now. Could go play that. But, it's actually a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go play that self-sacrifice room, I think. We really can make use out of it. I don't want the cartridge. We're going to come in here. We're going to step on the thing. We need balls of steel. Balls of steel. This will eventually give us things. So it teleported us to a devil deal, which I didn't even know it could do. Um, this one on the left is pre- I did not mean to take that. Well, shit. So, we have prayer card now. We can only take one item in any given angel deal. Uh, what prayer card will do is give us an eternal heart, but since we have car battery, it gives us two eternal hearts, which just gives us an instant heart container. So we can't just walk around and use this to get as many heart containers as we want, but I kind of like just getting damage from Guppy's head, so I'm going to go with that. Here, we get the Bible. Uh, it gives us flight for a room, which is handy. It 
can also kill mom if you just use it on her. But I'm uh, not very interested. I think I want to stick up his head. Uh, I'm not even sure if we can spawn the angel here. We can't. Okay. So, if you play it enough, eventually you will fight the angels, which will give you a key piece. You can use those key pieces to fight a boss called Mega Satan. I think we're going to try and cheat our way into Mega Satan on this run. Just because we can. I guess we'll beat... Mega Satan with Eve on our first run with Eden. Or with Eden. So, uh, that'll be fun. Got our key piece. Dad's key appeared. And we're gonna do this, which should teleport us to the final floor. No? Maybe it can't. No, it did. Okay. So this is gonna skip us ahead, way to the final floor of the game that we normally haven't unlocked yet for a long time and we probably won't see again for a long time. We're gonna use Hematemesis to go ahead and get lots of, get their health back. This might actually be kind of tough for us, but our damage isn't that amazing. It's uh, we got Brimstone and 2020, which means that it's doable, and I think we got a pretty decent chance. So this has now put this run into a situation where we can lose it. Uh, so we need to be a little careful. Because some of these rooms are very hard. Another Hematemesis, which could be very good for us. If we start getting low on HP, we can pop it to get a bunch of red hearts. Which we're running fully on now. Oh, we did not get the Mega Satan fight right, because I guess he's not unlocked yet. So that's a little unfortunate, but not a terrible thing. We'll have to do it again later, but that's alright. This Curse of Darkness is a little rough. So any chest that you pick up, that you open on uh, this floor, will contain an item. This one is Leprosy. You're tearing me apart, which is a room reference for anyone paying attention. So with this item, if we get hit, it has a chance of spawning an orbital around us, which will do contact damage if it touches an enemy. Um, orbitals are nice. Always good to have. Um, hope, I don't. We can't afford to get a whole lot of use out of leprosy in this run. If we get hit too much, then we will die. But as you can see, we got hit there. Now we've got a little thing floating around us, and we can touch enemies with it, and it can block shots. Um, with leprosy in particular, that one will go away after it takes a certain amount of hits or damage. But uh, it's just a nice shot blocker for the moment. I think is our best use for it. I think our, our brimstone lasers are doing plenty of damage without us trying to get close to enemies to do stuff. Alright, iron bar. So it'll give us a small damage upgrade, which is better than no damage upgrade. And it will also um, concuss enemies, which means it will hit them and do some damage. I actually am going to play this guy some. And use him at Timothy's to get some health back. Probably shouldn't play... I'm going to do it more time. Probably shouldn't right here. But I did. We can also use the bad trip. When you're at half... I don't know if it's one red heart or half a red heart. Once you get to low enough health, the bad trip pill will turn into a full health pill, which is pretty handy in a situation like this, where we're sitting at only red hearts protecting us. Lockdown still is not useful. Joker card. We can get one more devil deal. Let's see what it is. Rotten baby. Ah, uh, it's not bad, but I kind of want to save the HP, honestly. Um, lovers could be useful. We'll use a devil pill for the boss fight so we do more damage. Oh, we use the empress pill or empress card. I think we're going to go empress and devil, actually. Lovers could be useful if we take enough hits, but I'd rather just do more damage and get the fight over with. So we got, like, four extra damage on this fight because of our card usage. Which, as you can see, is burning through him pretty quick. And I'm very glad we did that instead of taking the more guaranteed HP. Um, you know what? I will do a victory lap. We don't get the opportunity very often. Well, you know what? I won't do a victory lap. So victory lap would let you kind of repeat the run. I think you lose an item or something. 
Oh, you know what? I might as well, right? Because I'll be able to go kill. I didn't actually kill Mom's heart. We've unlocked lots of things, I think including the Mega Satan fight. So this now starts to run over kind of in a New Game Plus fashion. Um, where we have pretty much all of our same items from before. We just start over from scratch. It's called a victory lap. Um, it should actually be very useful on this run because it'll allow us to unlock some uh, another Isaac kill on Eden, which we didn't act not Isaac kill, but a mom's heart kill on Eden. Which um is not a thing we would have gotten on this run. I see apparently on this run our pill rotation appears to be different, which I didn't know that was a thing that they changed. Uh, I think I'm still going to go search for the item rooms and shops, because I can. Ancient Recall is going to give us cards. Arrow Walk, Savor the Moment, what's that do? I don't know what that does. Wheel of Fortune. Death card. Portable slot, is this the little slot machine? It's actually paying out pretty well for us right now. I'm going to stay with Guppy's head, though. Uh, so, the butter. What that'll do is every time we use our spacebar item, it drops it. It uses the item, but it also will drop the item after you use it. Not very good at all with uh, Guppy's head. Don't really feel a need to drop Guppy's head every time we use it. It's going to be annoying for us. A pretty fly, so that gives a little orbital, a little fly that kind of goes around us. And he'll block shots for us, which we like. I forgot we had two secret rooms. I'm going here. I'm going to kill all these enemies so quick. Uh, I'm going to pick it up just because we're going to try something different. So flush can turn enemies into poop. And I will demonstrate that the next room I'll walk into that has enemies in it. I killed the enemy before I could do it, because I wasn't thinking. Oh well, we'll use it very quickly, I promise. Enemies are just going to die stupid fast. This should be a pretty quick little victory lap here. I'm not going to fully explore floors. I'm mostly going to search for item rooms and probably call that good. Uh, I'll go into any curse rooms that I find, because I can. Remember, we don't care about red heart damage, because we have goat head. But as you can see, it turns all the enemies into poop. And that's that's that. A little judgment. And blow him up. I can. Monkey's paws a trinket I'm not gonna concern myself with for now. And this rerolls all consumables on the floor? Or on the so I mean, it can be helpful. We got a black heart out of it, we'll take. We got some chests out of it, which is nice. So those dice rooms all have different effects depending on what the face of the dice says. As the cancer item, it gives you HP, and sometimes when you get hit, you will get invincibility for a while. Um, we got lucky access to the secret room. I think I am going to go try and find the shop, just because it might be more items and more interesting stuff for us. Curse of the Maze is annoying. This will randomly teleport you to new rooms. Uh, we'll take piggy, ba piggy bank when we get hit. There's a chance of giving us items. Uh, or giving us money, rather. The ladder will let us walk over pits that are one space wide. So we'll take that. Treasure map will give us a map of the floor. It won't show us what's like what any of the rooms are, but it'll show us where all the rooms are. 9 volt means our space for items recharge quicker. Steam sale means all of our items are half off. And I think we'll move on because we're not going to be able to afford anything else. Well, uh, maybe not. I'm going to spawn this Wheel of Fortune, place a bomb, and we got enough money so that we can pick up Mom's Purse, which gives us an extra room to hold a trinket. So we'll go ahead and pick up Liberty Cap here. To give us some kind of random tier effects every now and again, and will also sometimes show us what's in room, which can be helpful. Damage plot gives us a small upgrade um, to every other tier we fire. I think this is Guppy again. It's not. I thought we got we already had Guppy's collar, so the same item doesn't stack. 
Um, we have no reason to take Goat Head again. We've already got it. Um, we will take Ghost Baby, just because we can. He fires a little tear every now and again. Doesn't do much, but might as well take him. Take a puberty pill, I guess. Explosive diarrhea is not very good. Lemon party is a pretty good pill, actually. Use that one again. Turn everyone in the poop. Boss trap room. Might as well open them. We're going to use explosive diarrhea. This spawns a bunch of bombs behind us. If you know it's coming, it's not bad. You can use it to some effectiveness to, like, blow open secret rooms. Or kill some enemies, hopefully. Uh, it's got some, some use. It's not terrible. Uh, we got a luck pill in there, which is nice. And a full health pill. It's nice to know it exists. We probably won't get to use it. Chest. Telepills. Try to do the boss fight. Might as well. Is this an orbital? It's a cube of meat. What this does is it kind of halos around us. One. And uh, if we touch enemies with it, we'll do damage. It will also block shots. I'm going to take both these. I forgot we can't fly. Hit <laughs> twice. We hit spikes twice. Okay, so little brimstone we've seen before. We charges it on brimstone lasers. So now we can have three brimstone lasers if we so choose. Uh, and we also... Got a dark bum. Who will walk around and pick up any red hearts that we have lying on the floor. And he has a chance of turning them into spirit hearts, which is extremely useful. Probably one of the best defensive items. In fact, no, he is one of the best defensive items in the game. Um, he'll be extremely useful for you. To fill up on red hearts, you don't need any. He turns them into something useful. Which is extremely handy. We're not playing a sacrifice room again. There's no need. A secret room. Bombs. Looking for magic mush, which we probably won't get, but I might find it. I take a lot of one lake makes you larger pills. We got Stompy, which I forgot you get, taking enough one makes you larger pills. That means you can just kind of step on stuff that are pretty fly um, to blow it open, which is good for a while until it gets bad. There's certain rocks and stuff you step on uh, later that will damage you for stepping on them. But uh, for now, it's a good thing. I don't really want bad trip. We'll take lemon party and full health. We get tarot cloth again. Very good for us. Pretty recently. We get into our secret room. We don't want to touch this chest because if you see when we get close, spikes pop out. It's a mimic. It deal damage to us if we touch it. Um, we could, I, mean, I still have good stuff in there, so we could walk into it and just take damage and get stuff out, but it's just not worth it most of the time. What was in here? That's right, I remember now. We're moving on to the next floor. I think I'm going to try and do boss rush if it's available for me. I have a time for it. I don't know if you can do it on victory laps. I just don't know how that works. Pick it up, Dark Bomb. Give us some health later. Turn everything into poop. As you can see, Dark Bomb gives us a spirit heart there. So I think I'm really, unless I just kind of stumble across them, I'm going to ignore item rooms and shops. Um, I don't necessarily need them. Joker card, teleport to a devil deal, which is fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take Ventricle Razor, just because it's interesting. This kind of works like a little portal hole thing. So we can kind of make one hole here, and then make another one somewhere else. And if we go through this one, it pops us out the other hole. So it can be... it's got a lot of uses to it. Uh, we're going to use Lemon Party here. Any enemy that steps in this takes a lot of damage. So as you can see, it's just ruined this boss fight on its own. It can be a very useful item. Cracker Jacks gives us a trinket, and it also gives us a heart container. 
Got some red chests in here. Nothing we really care about. And I'm going to go ahead and move on. Hey, Count. How you doing? Oh, do we care about this? You know what? We're going to do this and we're going to teleport to our devil deal. Joke. Which I think that's Guppy. Yeah. So Guppy in our first three out of five runs, which is frankly absurd. And I'm almost embarrassed. Granted, we didn't get this one until the victory lap, so it's not as bad, I suppose. We're going to go down to our item room so we know where it is and it's not very out of the way. I should have taken damage there, but it didn't. Book of Shadows! We're going to use that. Um, so Book of Shadows, what that'll do is it'll give us invincibility. So we cannot take damage while we have a shield thing. And because we have an orbital, we can just kind of walk into enemies and damage them. We don't care about the hard nut. The walnut. I will show what that does off in a later run, probably. If we take damage, there's a chance of giving us an item. It's a pretty low chance. Blue map is going to show us where all of our secret rooms are. We kill everything? Easy bit. It's hard to tell. It goes so fast. Go in here. Bunch of red hearts. Oh, you know what we do? In this room, what you do is you let your demon your demon judgment go pick up all the red hearts. And you leave. And then he pops out a bunch of spirit hearts for you. So he's got the full HP from that room. I don't know that I've ever seen this room. That was neat. Moving on, we're definitely going to do boss rush, and we should crush it on this run. It shouldn't even be a fight, really. Um, I don't think we can do rush yet. I don't think that's an option. We're going to use... I don't even know how I need it for the shadow. we use it anyway. Um, we've already been to our devil deal on this floor via Joker card, so we're going to go down to the next floor. So, we're doing ridiculous damage, even though our damage stat is only a 5.74. Which is not all that amazing. But uh, just with everything we got stacked between Guppy and Brimstone and 2020, it's just ridiculous. Um, our stat itself isn't very strong, but stats aren't everything. It's going to pass straight through. Gonna, I think our boss fight's down here next to our super secret room. Oh, I got hit. Bound to happen eventually. Uh, what was? I thought I saw a thing I wanted to take. Was there a chest somewhere? Oh, Curse of the Maze. Playing tricks on me. I forgot I even had black powder. I'm getting very lost now. Let's open this. I keep going. Second secret room. This was not the boss fight. I'm kind of surprised at. But we should have no problems getting to Bosch Rush still. We're going absurdly fast. We'll take a car battery. I think we already had it. But I mean, what else are we doing with our money, right? Um, so this should double the amount of time we stay in our um, Book of Shadows. Not that it's a huge deal. We should kill pretty much everything while we're in invincibility anyway. I don't want to do this room for just one regular chest, no thanks. Dim Bulb, um, you know what, let's take it. So what Dim Bulb does for us is while we don't have, you know, I actually don't think it'll do anything for us. But while we don't have a spacebar charge, we get a pretty significant stat increase. Um, now I realize this won't do anything for us, because we have 9 volts. As soon as we use our space per item, um, puts us down to one charge of that item. So we are never empty on charges. So I don't think it'll do anything, unfortunately. But that's okay. It's telepathy for dummies, not very good. We did get the bookworm transformation, though, which will sometimes double the amount of shots we do, 
So sometimes instead of shooting two shots, we'll be shooting four shots, which is even better. So we're having a tough time finding our boss fight, especially with Kurtz in the maze fucking us up all the time. It's gotta be here. The last possible space. And it is. Here's a mom fight. Kill her real quick. So boss rush is an option. We're going to go in here. Um, we're going to take multi-dimensional baby. And we're going to take dead cat just because it's free, really. And then we're going to go do boss rush. We want sad bombs. So we're going to be able to drop bombs now. And they'll do brimstone bombs. Which is super cool. So basically boss rush is you get a choice of four items, usually. Um, and when you pick one up, they all despawn. And you fight every boss in the game, I think. It's not every boss in the game, it's most of them. Um, for us, because of Book of Shadows and Car Battery and how much damage we're dealing, we should be able to be invincible during the entire boss rush. So I'm not very worried about this in the slightest. I think it's going to be fine. Um, I'll pop Lemon Party just to kind of get some stuff out of the way. And maybe an enemy will walk into it and take some damage. This guy's a little annoying. They can shoot, which also just shoots through enemies. Uh, we get charged on our space for item for every wave that spawns. So, I mean, we'll just stay invincible during the entire fight. Slap it for dummies plus Brim and 9 Bolt is pretty good. You're right, actually, that would have been a good synergy. But Book of Shadows is so, like, brainless that uh, it's kind of the way I'm going right now. I'm drowsy. Oh, pretty fly there. I'm drowsy. We'll slow down every enemy for the rest of the boss rush, so it just got even easier. I'll pop on a lemon party, because you can. Good timing on it as well. So enemy spawned right into it. I'm going to pop this full health pill, just because I want to get out of the way and stop clogging up the fight. Chew through these enemies. Don't stand a chance. Make me feel good about myself. I could telepill out of the fight and just not deal with the rest of it, but we're already over halfway through, I think. And uh, we get an extra item if we finish out the fight, so I just might as well finish it. Because, you know, what else am I doing? And we need to finish it once on each character at the very least, just to get the uh, achievement. As you saw there, before I'm shooting out four shots, and then sometimes we pass through multi-dimensional baby, so we get eight shots out of it sometimes, which is just absurd. Use puberty, because, you know, I might as well. We're on drowsy pill. A challenge up, which, you know, technically a problem. But I mean it, it's fine. Really a health up, not because we need it, just because it's there. What makes you larger? Let's get big! Bigger than the bosses now. Two of clubs, double the amount of bombs we got. Uh, what, what's left? Or two of clubs. Here's the clicker. So, hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's risky, but I'm going to use the clicker. What the clicker does is it changes you into any random other character. I think it turned us into Kane. Um, so we're now Kane. We're doing a Kane run now. Not the most amazing thing, but it's here. I'm going to telepill, just because I might as well. What's in here? Don't care. I'm going to go in here. Don't care. I'm not sure why we didn't take damage... Why we didn't take damage going into the curse right there. I feel like we should have. I don't know if the clicker can turn you into character given unlocked yet. We're taking Tammy's Head Brimstone. Because Tammy's Head Brimstone 2020 means we can just walk into every room, we can hit the space bar, and we can just kill everything. This, this run just became even more of a joke than it already was. Keep on moving.
Wait for the boss to come out of hiding. Uh, we probably don't need that HP upgrade. Let's see what's in here. We're gonna take both, because we can. We're gonna take our HP upgrade and we're gonna move on. Ah, uh, boss fight up here maybe? Oh, this one's not a combat room. I'm gonna have to actually fight a room. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I thought we had sad bomb. I dropped a bomb and it did not sad bomb. What happened there? Oh, that's right, the clicker. Whenever you use a clicker, it takes an item away from you. It must have taken sad bombs away. That's that's sad. We don't really care about that trinket right now. It's technically good, but it's good as more keys. We don't have much of a chance of using keys. <sighs> okay. So if we go in here, we end the run, I think. Yeah, we do. Or we could go downstairs and keep going. Um, just for ridiculousness sake, I think I'm going to do that. To see how long this run can take us. To keep doing things we're not really supposed to be doing yet. Um, we Our run sh should be ending here at Mom's Heart. But uh, it appears... And you know, I don't think I'm getting credit for beating these things as well. I don't... I guess you probably don't get credit on a victory lap for beating bosses and such with characters, which makes sense. I don't have any problem with that. But, uh, now we're just doing it for fun. Ah, I walked into him. What to you? This is, uh, I gotta say, one of the most powerful Isaac runs I've had in a very long time. The Satan fight for the first time. If you wait long enough, you can spawn a bomb and just blow up most of the first phase. Usually it doesn't go that fast, but we're just gonna go ahead and burn our way through that phase. I forgot we had lost contact, so all the shots we threw out didn't do anything. We'll finish that fight off, and this should end our run. Finally. Yep, and here's a new ending. Alright, thank you guys for watching. That was a little bit of a silly one. Kind of went on for a long time. But uh, I, I had fun. I hope you guys did. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. Tell me how much you hate me. It's all cool. Uh, I'm going to hop off and then get right back on to you streamers and episode of Dead Cells. Uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks.